Cases of black fungus or mucomycosis emerging in COVID-19 patients. Should every COVID patient be scared? What are the symptoms of this disease? What is its treatment? I'm Arun Singh and Dr. Girija Suresh, Senior Ophthalmic Consultant of Fortis Hospital Mulund, has all the answers. Should every COVID patient be scared or cautious of black fungus? Yeah, every patient should be aware of the situation or aware of the possibility of infection, but certainly not uh, scared or losing sleep on it. Since that question is answered, now let's get into the details of this disease, mucomycosis. Mucomycosis is a kind of a, a fungal infection. It's not a new fungus or anything. This fungus is there and it's a very old fungus. It's there in the natural uh, atmosphere, in, in the soil, and it is in the vegetative, um, actually a rotting vegetation. So it is there in the air many a times because we are all, all healthy people whose immune system is able to fight this. They will not contact the illness. But people who have had COVID, some people who have got uh, uncontrolled diabetes and people who are on certain medications, like, for example, for cancer treatment, etc., they are the ones who are at risk. What and are the, the symptoms that one should look out for? Yeah, the symptoms one should look out for is any unusual pain on the face, especially on, around the jaws. Any pain uh, in the eye, redness, swelling, feeling very hot and dry in the nose with, along with the discharge and some black crust, etc. You should approach your ENT uh, surgeon or your uh, primary COVID treating person or a primary doctor. So does it attack the nose, eyes or the skin? It attacks the nose, eyes, brain. The respiratory system, including the lungs, it attacks the skin as well as uh, digestive system. And is it fatal? It can be fatal if it is left too uh, long unnoticed. Uh -huh. if, however, if it can be actually uh, detected at an earlier stage, the patient's uh, eye and the nose and the patient's life can be salvaged. And is this a contagious disease? It's not a contagious disease. The people who are caring for mucormycosis will not get the disease by just touching or treating them. Hmm. However, it is important to wear the mask for everybody, including the patients who are, especially now with this current situation, almost everybody is wearing the mask. But some people after the COVID treatment, COVID recovery, they think that they are, you know, immune to COVID and they may want to roam around without the mask. Because their immune system is weaker, they can inhale these pores of mucormycosis, which are generally there in the soil and uh, rotting vegetations and things like that. They can inhale and they may contract the disease even several weeks later. Actually, this body's weak immune system goes on after the COVID probably two, three months. Yeah, my next question was going to be how to prevent it. I think you kind of answered it by wearing a mask. Is there any other way? That is the, that's the most important thing one can do because it, it generally contracted by inhalation and uh, touching the uh, objects and then handling the nose and mouth and things like that. So that is... Basically, the same precautions what we are doing for COVID can actually prevent majority of these infections. Okay. Now, uh, many would think that it's an old disease, it's an old infection, it's an old fungal yeah. infection. Yeah. But why are COVID patients contracting it now or why are they at higher risk I mean, when it comes to COVID patients? Yeah, the reason is now we are seeing because it's a pandemic all over the world, the number of patients you are seeing is too many and any COVID patient who has uh, had my, uh, apart from mild, moderate and severe course of the disease who are actually treated with the steroids for a long time, they are at risk. Having said that, I don't want to convey a message that giving steroids is a wrong thing or steroid is not a dangerous medication. Steroid is actually a life-saving medication. It is required in certain patients where it has to be given to save the life. 
But at the same time, when we give uh, heavy doses of steroids in these situations, one has to be aware of the added or associated side effects and vulnerability to certain infections and certain other conditions. That's all I had for this video. I'm Arun Singh for NDTV.